Welcome to Overly Room Tutorials. Today, I'll be showing you how to enable and disable pressure sensitivity for a drawing tablet in GIMP 2.10.10. So the first thing you want to do is plug in your Wacom tablet, because sometimes GIMP doesn't work if you do it out of order. I'm going to plug in the Wacom tablet. And once I hear that it's been plugged in, I'm going to then open up GIMP. Once GIMP has opened, I'm going to go over to create a new file, so file, and new, and then click OK. So I'm going to zoom out using the control and the middle mouse wheel. So I'll show you that right now the Wacom tablet doesn't have any pressure sensitivity. But if you draw, it's the exact same as the mouse. So there's Wacom tablet, there's the mouse. So now we're going to add a pressure sensitivity. So that's what it looks like now. Now we're going to go to Edit, Preferences. Once Preference Mini uh, loads, you can go to Input Devices and click on it. Then you click Configure Extended Input Devices. And here you'll see Core Pointer. Wacom Tablet Eraser, Wacom Tablet Pressure Stylus. So here you can enable the pressure sensitivity or disable it. So since mine does not have Wacom Tablet Eraser, I won't enable it. But if you were going to, you click on the Wacom Tablet, you can see where it says Mode. It currently says Disabled. You would click on it and here you select Screen or Window. So you select Screen. Now we'll go to the Wacom Tablet pressure stylus and click on it and the mode will also be disabled. You click disabled and add screen or you can do window while you're doing screen. And then once you're finished click save and then you can X out of that and click OK. So now the pressure should be enabled. So whenever you hover over the Wacom tablet with your pen, it'll change over to the your pen settings. I try drawing, and you can see the pressure changes just by pushing down harder or lighter. Another thing you can do is you can change your brush. So right now, it'll be plain. If you go to the brush. You can change it to any of these. So we try this rectangle, and it makes it look a little more sharper. You can change it to a thinner rectangle. It kind of looks like a ribbon, and you can try out all these brushes to see which one you like the best. So that is how to enable and disable pressure sensitivity on Wacom tablet using GIMP 2.10.10. If you enjoyed the video or learned something, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.